All right, everyone, today is the official kickoff day of the hackathon I've been planning with our sponsor, Convex. And I kind of mentioned in a previous video, if you wanted to kind of go and learn about Convex, this hackathon will be centered around using Convex, which is a backend as a service. But also we have some additional themes that I haven't talked about yet for the hackathon, all right? And I'm gonna go ahead and mention those in this video and kind of walk you through how this hackathon is gonna work. This is the first hackathon that I've done on this channel. So hopefully everything turns out good. I'm sure it will. But let's just go ahead and uh, walk you through what we got here. So I have a website called hackathon.webdevcody.com, which you'll need to go and sign up with your GitHub login and also register. So this is the hackathon registration site. This is something I built specifically for this hackathon. It's using Convex for all the data and clerk for the authentication using github login when you have to sign in so go here sign in with github and then register by clicking either this register button here which gives you the opportunity to read through the rules and i'll talk about some of the main important parts of these rules here and at the bottom you can actually register for the hackathon so again this hackathon has a two thousand five hundred dollar prize pool and this is sponsored by convex right so they were able to sponsor some money so i can kind of give you guys some money if you guys or to win with your submissions. But regardless of the money, if you win or not, I think this is still a good opportunity to just participate in building out something cool or like working with a, a team, collaborating with someone else and just see if you guys can build something really cool. All right, so how to participate. First of all, go here, log in, register, agree to the rules. And then you have to build a web application using Convex with two caveats, which I'll talk about down below in the awards category. So step three, after you've actually built out your project, you need to record a short demonstration. I'm thinking maybe two or three minutes to walk us through what you built and kind of showcase the best things about your application and why you think it's cool. And then also you need to put a link to your GitHub repo so we can kind of look through the code. And then step four is going to be me judging your submissions, right? It's just me judging everything. So there's not like a, a really formal guide I'm going through with like awarding, you know, who gets first place, second place. I'm just going off of what project seems the best. All right, so let's move on to the categories. This hackathon has two main categories that you can try to win in. The first one is the most creative use of AI. So you've watched my channel. I do do a couple of things with AI. I've done like um, icon generation with my SaaS product. I have done stable diffusion stuff. I have done open AI stuff. And so this category is basically using an LLM, using Stable Diffusion, using some type of vector database, whatever you want. It has to be AI related and you can enter into this category, okay? The places are first place is 500, second place is 300, and third place is 250, okay? That is the first category. And the second category is the most collaborative. So if you've already played around with Convex, Convex allows you to create very interactive and highly like dynamic applications, right? So whenever you change data in the database, your UI will automatically update. So this category is basically building a very collaborative type of application that could be like a, for example, that could be like a Figma clone. That could be like an online game where you have multiple people joining the game together. That could be like a, a collaborative document editor, like Google Docs or something like that. Any type of showcase that really shows, you know, data updating live as other people are doing things in your application. Maybe you could have like cursors follow your different players around as they're playing around with the UI. And again, this one's pretty broad as well. They're both pretty broad categories, but for the collaborative one, make sure that you can actually like demo that there's multiple people inside the same application doing something on the data, like modifying the same data. You can see that reflected in the UI. So these categories give you the highest chance of winning like up to $500. Um, if that's something that's interesting to you, um, you can only win one prize, right? So don't try to compete with both categories. If you do an AI project that's also super collaborative, you're not gonna be able to win first in both. I want to be able to give different subscribers and participants in the hackathon of winning something. Okay, in the secondary categories, we have honorable mentions. So these are just things that maybe you don't win in the main categories, but there's two other projects that I really liked. These are just subjective things I'll be giving out awards to if I really like your project, but you just didn't, you know, make first, second, or third. I think just giving some more opportunities to win would be fun. And then the other secondary category is top rated by public. So so during the judge period, you can actually log into this application up here. You can go to submissions and you'll be able to vote on your favorite submissions. You can vote up to three. So go and watch their videos and then click on the top three that you like. And then after that judging period, I'll go through and find the top rated that aren't already winners here. And we will also win some additional funds to those winners. And like I mentioned down here, judging will be subjective. The more polished and feature rich your application is, the better 
I may rank it. If you submit an application that has zero styling and looks buggy, I will probably rate it worse compared to another application that looks like it's been very polished. So the idea is if you wanna win, try to make like an actual nice polished application, right? Use a nice component library, or if you know how to do styling, style it yourself, make it custom. I will say if you're using like a component library, like try to put some type of additional effort into making it your own. Customize the theme, customize the colors, make it look nice. Don't just use the out of the box styling if you can. But that's kind of the subjective judging I will be doing. Um, I'm not gonna look through your code. I'm not gonna judge your code. I'm mainly just focusing on the project, what you built. Does it seem to match the most creative use of AI compared to the other submissions? or the most collaborative compared to the other submissions. And like always, I will be in my Discord where I'm gonna be helping anyone who's participating in this hackathon and just kind of, if they have questions, I can answer them. Maybe you have questions about OpenAI, maybe you have questions about Stable Diffusion, maybe you have questions about Convex. I will be there to help you, but I'm not going to actually do the work for you, okay? I'm just another resource to help you and guide you through this hackathon if you maybe you're more beginner and you just need some help. But the lines can get a little bit blurry if I put too much effort into helping these people because there might be some type of unfair advantage, but I'm not going to write any code for anyone. All right, so let's go to the resources tab here. I went ahead and just put some links to my Discord channel, which is the main place where you're going to be talking with me or just other hackathon participants. I have a dedicated place over here for the hackathon. I got a news channel general. You can ask help questions here. You have a voice channel if you want to actually like get into a voice call with people. And I will be publishing updates for this hackathon inside of this Discord. So definitely join my Discord and participate in this hackathon category here if you want to talk to people. There's also a link to the Convex Discord, right? So since Convex is the sponsor of this hackathon and you have to use Convex, which is a backend as a service, you can go and join the Convex Discord if you want, where you can ask other questions to try to get support directly from the Convex team, right? There's only so much I can do to help you out, but if you have specific questions about Convex, or you're lost about something, be sure to go and check out their Discord as well. Down here, I have some links to the Convex docs. So you can go here for the Convex docs. They tell you how to set up a Convex project with React, Next.js, Node, Rust, React Native, or Python. And they have a lot of good information about you know using Convex. Um, secondly, Convex already has a bunch of good starter templates. So if you wanna go and try to find, you know what, I wanna find a cool AI starter template, that uses Next.js, which is also using uh, Clerk or something, that will give you a couple examples of where you can find a nice starter template to read through the code and understand how this works. For example, I did one with Next.js doing this Stable Diffusion. Yeah, if you just wanna watch like, how did I do this with Stable Diffusion where you can draw onto a canvas in React, and I pass that to a replicate.com API, and that kind of gives you back a AI generated image based on the scribbles, okay? So a lot of good templates that you can start from and kind of a learn from. And then also Convex made a dedicated hackathon resources page where you can go through here and they have a couple of videos that kind of walk you through how to get set up with Convex. They have some blog posts, some links. So if you ever need any type of information, I mean, everything is there. It's like right at your fingertips. And I also have some of the video tutorials that I've done and I also link to one of the video tutorials that is made by Jamie, who uh, I believe is a co-founder of Convex. So he has a really cool tutorial where he makes like a storybook using Convex and OpenAI and Replicate. So if you want to watch through any of these videos, these things are here for you. So in these useful video tutorials, if you look at this one, this is actually one that I'm publishing the same time that I kicked off this hackathon. So this is also on my YouTube channel. You can go and check it out. But basically I use AI in Convex to build out a text adventure game where basically the AI acts as your dungeon master and I'm using Dolly to generate these inventory icons here. So this is all generated with AI. And then also I use OpenAI to parse the history of the adventure to figure out how much health you have, what inventory items you have. I have a cool little, um, I have a cool little dice icon that does a 3D dice roll here and puts the, the value here in the submit. So this is a nice tutorial video if you want to go and understand more about maybe competing in the AI, most creative AI category. I think this is a pretty cool um, video. And then I also have a, like a 10 minute quick start video where I show you how to get a Next.js project set up using Convex. And I basically do like a really basic to-do list application. If you guys just want a really quick overview of how you can get started with Convex. So, so all these resources are there for you. Um, make sure you click these links if you ever lost. Let's talk about the actual rules. So in order to compete, there are two major things that you have to agree with, right? The first one, you have to agree with these rules. 
Um, and I do list out the time of where you can submit things. So the submission period is September 6th, which is today, Wednesday at 9 a.m., all the way through September 20th, right? So you have two full weeks to submit a project. So the second period is a judging period where basically a week following the hackathon, I'm going to go through all the submissions and I'm going to try to rank them in a spreadsheet internally with my own way that I plan to do that. And there's also a public voting period. So right after the hackathon ends, the submission period ends, you as a user, you can log into this and go and upvote and heart different submissions that you like. So please keep that in mind that after you submit, please come back and like try to look at what other people built and also just give a heart to some of the best submissions that you want. Um, you can't heart your own thing. I kind of disable that in the code, so don't even try to. It shouldn't work. Um, and then after that, I do plan to announce who won. Maybe I'll make some videos about it. And then uh, I will try to send out the prizes within 60 days after getting whatever information I need from you as the contestants. Now, there's a lot of stuff in these rules that kind of protect me as the hackathon host and kind of grant me permission to use your project uh, and use your video in my channel. So you have to kind of read through these and agree to everything. But some of the important things I want to point out is that the prizes will be paid out with PayPal. And that's talked about here, prize eligibility. Prizes will only be paid out using PayPal. So if you do happen to submit and you win, but you can't accept PayPal, then I'm going to send that money to the next person in line. Project requirements, you must use Convex and you must at least use Convex's query mutations and their database, okay? Now, depending on what main category you enter, you're probably going to have to use Convex actions as well. And I will say that Convex has other things like file storage, which you can do as well. So definitely read through this. So for the submission, you need to basically make a demo that walks to your project and it should be less than three minutes. So make a video, kind of walk through what you built, post it on YouTube or Vimeo and give me the link when you submit your stuff. And the URL to the code has to be on a public or private repository. If it's private, I'm going to have to email you and ask you to give me access to it. Or you can give access to WebDevCody. That is my GitHub handle, WebDevCody. So just send me an invite if it's a private repo because you don't want to like share the code. And I will say before you can actually agree to these rules, you do need to sign up with GitHub. So I'm just going to go ahead and sign up. And here we go. Let's go to register now. Go to the bottom and I'll say I agree to the rules and I understand the prizes will only be paid out with PayPal. So now you're registered, right? You register for the hackathon. If I go to participants, your name should show up here. After you submit your submissions, you'll see a submission card show up here that people can vote on and heart. So how do you actually submit your project? There's a submit button here. You click this. You need to enter in your contact email, your video URL. Again, this is like the demo of your project hosted somewhere like a YouTube link. Your GitHub URL. So put the link to your either public or private GitHub URL here. And again, if it's private, be sure to send me a invite so I can actually like look through the code and make sure you're using uh, Convex. And then your paypal.me URL, right? So again, if you want to accept prizes, you have to put a PayPal URL so I can actually know where to send the money. I'm not going to spend a bunch of time jumping around, going through hoops to try to figure out how to get people their money. This I'm just keeping it simple for myself. You have to have PayPal if you want to accept the prizes. One thing I do want to mention, though, is that Convex actually just released a very recent vector search capability. So if you are planning to do the AI portion, like the main category, which is the most innovative AI submission, this might be something that you might be interested in doing. So if you don't know what a vector database is, basically it's a way to take, for example, a PDF. You take all the text in that PDF and you can create a vector that describes the PDF and you can store that inside a vector database. And what that allows you to do is that you can do searches across different vectors in your database to try to th find documents that might be similar. For example, let's say you have a document about how to build a house and you convert that to a vector and store it in your vector database. And then someone decides to come in and input and type in how to build a house as their like search criteria. You can convert that search string, how to build a house to a vector. And then you can search your database for vectors that kind of are similar to what you just typed in for a search. So vectors are a really efficient way to do like lookups on things that are very similar to a search criteria. This is beta, so if you run into issues, be sure to join Convex's Discord and let them know if there's any issues. But they walk you through how to set up a schema that can accept a embedding. And they also show you how you can do a vector search over your database. All right, so that basically wraps everything up. I do want to kind of mention my final thought is that this hackathon is two weeks. But if you feel intimidated, like you're not going to potentially win, just remember that other people may not even submit anything, right? So 
if for whatever reason you submit a project and you don't think it's good, it might actually be one of the best missions. So I would say if you have the time, just try to participate, have some fun, join my Discord, learn something new from other developers. And that's about it. I'll be making some other videos along the way probably that's related to this hackathon. So be sure to press the bell icon so you can get alerted when those get published. Other than that, have a good day, good luck, and happy coding.